Hey guys, it's me, Man Action, bring us some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. In the last part, we found out that Pearl and Iris are actually sisters. That Iris has a twin sister, and that, oh my god, that Morgan Fay. Well, we already knew. Well, we already knew about Morgan Fay, and we found out that she has some some way connected to this entire thing. So, Iris is the daughter of Morgan Fay. Iris and Pearls are sisters, and that Iris has a twin sister that that we don't know exactly who she is but i think we have a i think we we have somewhat of a guess to who she actually is but ladies and gentlemen last part was just huge but in this part we're gonna see what else we can find because this case has just gone at, got absolutely crazy that's for sure anyway let's go to the courtyard sounds like someone's happy what tune is he? Is, it, is that the hammy? No motive, no crime. No motive, no crime. Sing it with me. No motive, no crime. I remember when we used to search in the challenging room in Curate. Woof, I love my job. Who cares if the crews I find are no good? That's not what investigating or all investigating is all about. The investigator investigates for the love of investigating. It's a passion. Good cases we have. Good cases we've lost along the way. I would have never guessed that Gromsy was in the reggae. <laughs> Every case is gonna be airtight. Every case is gonna be airtight. Hey, pal. Uh, who me? How long you been there? long enough <laughs> so what do you what do you up to <laughs> I, i'm investigating pal i made a promise to edgeworth i promised i would find the real murder weapon the real murder weapon that bob sword thing turns out to be a false lead huh i'm giving it my best sort, shot but i still haven't turned up any clues i just found this weird scrap these weird scraps of paper. It looks like a letter or something. It doesn't seem to have anything to do with the case though. A letter? So how's the investigation going to come true? I don't know I don't know if I, I should be telling you this pal but I guess it can't hurt. Looks like the murder took place in the inner temple garden. And they're they're take, taking that bloody writing on the lantern pretty seriously back at HQ. What you mean? I don't have the details, pal. All I know is, if you don't find Maya down in the in that secret cavern, we're gonna be in an ugly situation. <laughs> what kind of ugly situation are you looking at here? You got me. I don't know. They're not my words, pal. Then who said it? Mr. Godo. Godo? What did you mean by that? About that letter you found. Don't remind me, pal. I'm busting a gut here trying to find the murder weapon. And all I find is some burnt up old letter. Burnt up old letter? Yeah, it was in that incinerator right outside the te in, in the temple. The incinerator? I knew it. I knew I wasn't imagining it. There was snow on the incinerator. I just, I just saw it. I first saw it. I first saw it. Blah, I can't read. <laughs> but after the incident, the snow had melted away. Which means someone used the incinerator at the, on the night of the murder. What's up with you, pal? I've got it right here if you want to look. Can I? Do you mind? Sure, go nuts. I don't have it. I don't want it, pal. You can have it. It's all spirit mediums and masters and stuff. I bet it's got no relation to the case. Spirit mediums? I've got... It's got to be important if it mentions spirit mediums and masters. I'd better give it a good... 
looking over in some serious fault. Make sure you chuck it, chuck it in the trash when you're done. Living's a crime, pal. So what do you know about the real murderer so far? No, murder weapon so far. Well, it wasn't. She's, she's pretty pretty people. It's weird, cause she was killed in the garden, but then not only was she pushed into the garden, into not only was she so she was somehow carried to this place to the courtyard room. She somehow fell out of the fell out of her room into the courtroom, and then someone put that put that huge sword into her. And it's like a lot of things don't. There's so many gaps. That's what you're. I don't know. Hit the And man, is it tiring to work? But let me tell you something, pal. I'm no chicken. We've got the feather, feather of the forensics in our cap these days. We're using the part, the secret weapon on this. Secret weapon? What's the secret weapon? You want to know? You've got to think scientifically, okay? Alright. The metal weapon was a sword. Swords are, scientifically speaking, made of metal, right? Any questions so far? Well, of course not. <laughs> so, what's the perfect tool for that job? A metal detector. Raise your hand if you didn't see this coming from my way. You, 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 you can't see this, but I'm raising my hand. <laughs> huh, me? I've been using this thing for hours now. It's getting pretty boring after a while. Why don't you give it a try? I don't know. Should I help? I don't know. Let's play as a forensic expert. Alright then. I guess I'll give it a go. Like I said. What was the last? I feel like we used the metal detector before. I think maybe in the first game? It's so high tech. You could die skydive off it. So now, so now I'm going to tell you how to use it. It's possible the real murder weapon is somewhere around here. Some, somewhere around here. Sure, that's what we're trying to find out. Right, so first, let's turn the metal detector on. That's the sound of the beeping metal detector bouncing. Okay, next. Next, touch the detector. Okay, once you hear something. Okay, I got this. And when that happens, touch the gauge check. Give it a good house there. Yeah. I think I, this thing that picks up metal attack options too. Take a good look at anything and everything that seems suspicious. Okay, pal. That's odd. The sled made practice. It says bikini number one on the side. <laughs> Maybe there's something under it. Hey, what's this? A, a badge? Aha! Uh -huh. I've been hanging hunting high and low for this. It's your detective? It's it's thing that's thing crisis to a guy like me. A cop can't be a cop without his badge. I sure you're glad I put that in my night. Oh, dude, you dropped your badge here? I'm playing around with the sled. Oh god, god. I don't need it here anymore. That's obviously the, the the statue. I know, I just thought I'd check it again anyway. Yeah, that reminds me. Do you know about that sword? It's supposed to represent the multiple branches that life can take. All ending on, ending as one. Yes, I heard something about that. You know what I think about sometimes? What kind of life I'd be leaving had I not joined the homicide. homicide blah, blah, blah. Homicide division. You think you think about that kind of stuff, detective? Of course I do. I think about it a lot. Me as a traffic cop, me as a detention officer, me as a blue badger. So there's something to be said about the human body coming through as the blue badger. This is the ladder. Don't really need to check that. There must be a whole panhandle or something. How do you know that? Um, huh, what? That was my nickname in junior high. Panhandle? 
I didn't have much money back then. I I used to bomb stuff off the other kids sometimes, so they call me Panhandler. Panhandler? <laughs> I can see that. Thinking back, it's actually kind kind of a nice memory now. Okay, we've been there. Something over here. It looks like there's something round buried in the ground here. Don't touch that, pal. Huh? What is it? It's a trap. People set them uh, uh, set them out to cast us detectives. They're real nasty. A trap for detectives? You mean like those fierce traps with sharp teeth that are a bear trap? <laughs> she is not chasing. Reach out. A mouse trap. <laughs> okay, so it's not there. Um. Staff. This is Mr. Nim's staff, isn't it? Scientifically speaking, they're usually made out of wood. With no detectives reacting to it. Yeah, but however you look at it, it's made out of wood, right? I don't bother investigating anything unless it looks, looks it might be metallic. Isn't the whole point of a metal detector to find metal you can see? It's weird that this thing is causing a racket. Here, let me look at it. Hey, hands off! Is that any evidence? The sound of the... The top came off. Look what you've done! you damaged a really important piece of evidence. That's a sword? Inside the staff. What the hell? It's the murder weapon. There's a sword inside the staff. A sword cane. <laughs> this one's a real gem. The workmanship is something else. Thank goodness. This was a cane sword. Or else this victim would have stabbed, stabbed, <laughs> stabbed their own foot. I officially give up on trying to figure out how the country's mind works. If the real scene of the crime, of the crime was the inner temple garden, then why was the sword used to kill the victim found in the main hall courtyard? Hey, Gumshoe, who knows? Who knows about the hidden sword? No one. Even the police didn't, didn't know about this until I discovered it just now. Well, as they say, there's no team in Gumshoe. It doesn't look like there's any trace of blood in it. Then I guess this wasn't the murder weapon, huh? No, no, no. I'm sure someone just wiped it off after the murder. Of course. That's the thing. That thing's definitely the murder weapon. Great job, pal. It's the same length as Shito, too. This must be the murder weapon. Okay, I'll run it over into forensics. There must be some traces of blood left. Even if most of the air has been wiped off. See you later, pal. Wait up, detective. Huh? What is it, pal? I'm a pretty busy guy right now. You know, you know. You're gonna, you, you're going to get the stuff animals, right? Would you mind holding off for just a while? Huh? What are you talking about? It, please. Just until we find Maya. Maya? What's this got to do with her? I don't know, but I get the feeling I get a really bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. Oh, how so? Look, Maya's trapped inside the sacred cavern right now. Well, she, well, we don't know if she's okay or, or not. The evidence the more evidence and testimonies are here, the more I, I, uneasy I feel. Don't think my Please, detective, let's just wait and, until we can get inside the sacred cabin. You're looking kind of brooding out there. Okay, just stop it with that face pal. One thing though. The style secret trick. Let's keep it between you and me, alright? If this gets out, we knew about it and didn't say we're finished. I, I understand. 
This is just a regular run of the mill staff. You got it? Now, you, you take good care of it, pal. Thanks, detective. Oh, she'll be fine. You know, there's a place at the base of the mountain that has some really good pasta. How about I take you there when you find my earth, huh? Pal? Sure, thanks. I can I can't help but wonder though. What was at least the name doing with a staff like this in the first place? Anyway, let's make our way uh we got to go to the bait hall. Oh yeah! I think maybe we have to talk to Iris about her twin sister. I don't know. I think so. Oh no, we have to talk to Ellsworth because he knows that Iris is a twin sister. No. He doesn't know that Iris is a twin sister, but... Hey, Edgeworth, did you know that Iris has a twin sister? What? A twin? You can't be serious. Sister Bikini told me, but... The problem is, she didn't know the name of his twin. There was nothing about her about Iris having a sister in the files I checked. Well, Iris was taken in by the temple when she was really young. Apparently, her sister was raised by a father. A jeweler, I think. A jeweler? Right, I I might just know who this twin sister of hers is. I had a feeling you say that. Let me guess. Her name is Dahlia Holfon, right? Yes, exactly. Please tell me what you know about her, Edgeworth. Please. It was my first course case six years ago. I was a greenhorn, and due to my inexperience, the defendant died. The defendant died. Oh yeah, I remember that. He killed himself. You're talking about Terry Falls, right? You, you know about that case? You're not the only one who noticed something about Iris and Dahlia Hawthorne. I checked on Mia's old files from six years ago. Yes, Dahlia was the key witness in that case. Dahlia and Terry Falls conspired together to stage a fake ki kidnapping 11 years ago. They stole a jewel worth $2 million from Dahlia's father, a jeweler. Five years after that, she murdered her own sister, Valerie Hawthorne, to keep her from talking. sister well her stepsister actually they weren't blood related Valerie was the only daughter of Dahlia's father father's second wife oh and this is when she entered my life the woman who tried to kill me so after Terry Falls died what happened to Dahlia did she check that out there's no need. I, like I said, like I said, Dolly isn't connected with this case. Why are you so sure about that? It's simple. Dolly Holfon is dead. What? Well, her multiple processes are a matter of interest, only only to historians, so to speak. What are you talking about? What do you mean by Dolly Holfon is dead, Edgeworth? I only just discovered this, right? But I never knew about the murder case. You were involved, involved in during your college years. Dahlia Hawthorne was found guilty. Thanks to the persistence of my FA. Me FA, sorry. <laughs> At that time, Dahlia... It's like she was possessed by a demon or something. 
been six years since that guilty girl verdict was handed down, and the sentence was finally carried out. She was executed last month. Executed. I'm sure that's a bit of a shock for you, right? And for more reasons than one. But do you understand now? She can't possibly be connected to this case. She's dead. And once someone is dead, there's no way to revive them. There's no way to revive the dead. Hmm, I wonder. I don't know if in Japan they still have the death penalty. That seems harsh. And what is that? It's about Iris and Dahlia, Fulton's mother. What's their mother got to do with any of this? She's Morgan Fay. Spare medium from a branch. Branch. From a branch. Family of Korean Channeling Technique. Did you say Korean Channeling Technique? Do you know something about it? Oh yes. I know it's connected with that fraudulent spirit medium. Fraudulent? I was involved in another I like made 17 years ago. I was caught right in the middle of a murder investigation. The police didn't have any leads. They were stumped. And that's when they called her in. She was a very famous spirit medium and the master of a channeling school. But you know what happened? As a result of her efforts, an innocent man was accused of, him of murder. She and her palace, were, were, they were all forged in Edgeworth. Go to the police record room, it's all in there. All you have to do is check the DL6 incident case file and you'll know. Of course, how could I forget? Edgeworth was the victim in the case. Edgeworth, you'll understand someday, but then you'll see that the Korean challenge technique is real. Okay. I guess, I guess now we have enough to break her cycle lock, so let's do it. Do not crime. I think it's time you told the truth about what you were doing that night. You said you were in your room at Hazakura Temple the entire time. Do you still claim that to be the truth? Yes, that, that's where I was. Iris, I believe you're innocent. That's why I want to believe you, believe what you're telling me too, but I can't. Because this person saw you some, somewhere else during the night of the murder. I think it was... Bikini. I'm talking about Sister Bikini, of course. Sister Bikini? Her testimony in court was very clear. That night, I was helping an acolyte with... Is it possible that Dolly Hawthorne is actually alive and posed as her sister? And no, as yeah, that's what I think. Anyway, I left Iris to help the acolyte and return the Hazakura Temple. Yeah, I got, I, I know, I think I, I think I sort of figured it out. So you see, Iris, you are in a temple that night. That's. Very impressive, Mr. Wright. Okay, so she was so she was there. The acolyte training was due to start after ten o'clock at night. I left the main hall early so I wouldn't be late. What time was that? Let me see. It takes about twenty minutes to walk between the main hall and the inner temple. So I would have left at around nine forty PM, I think. I'm sorry Ice, but lying doesn't just doesn't suit you, huh? Now you say you left the main hall at 9.40, but that, but what you say doesn't add up with this. Oh god, oh no! Oh no! I accidentally backed out of it. Oh god, I'm gonna have to cut. CUT! Alright, back again. I pressed, I accidentally pressed the B button, so I had to, so it backed out of it. Anyway, um... Now you say you left the main hall at 9.40 p.m. But what you say doesn't add up with this. And I believe it's that. You yourself testified to the contrary, don't you remember? You said you rang the lights at the bell at 10 o'clock that night. Plus, 
only moments before you ran that bell, you were seen in the main hall by the most reliable witness I have. Who's that? Me. Mr. Wright. We even spoke a little that evening. That's when you gave me this. Surely you haven't forgotten. No, that's right. I remember. What that brings us to is another is another public fact, Iris. At ten o'clock on the night of the murder, you were seen in two different places at the same time. It's time you told me exactly what's been going on, Iris. So far, I've managed to prove two things. First, on the night of the incident, you were at the inner temple. And second, at the, at the exact same time you were ringing the bell at Hasakura Temple. There's only one possible explanation. And... It's because there were two of you. On the night of the incident, you were seen in two different places at the same time. Which means, there must have been two of you. I can't think of any other, other explanation. But that's crazy, how could that be? There's only one of me, it's possible. Impossible, I wonder. The way you're trembling seems to suggest otherwise. You're seriously trying to suggest there's more than one of me? Then show me the evidence. Show me something that proves there is more than one of me. <sighs> I'm sorry. But it's your sister. Your twin, Dai Hawthorne, who looks exactly like you. But with red hair instead of brown. Instead of black, sorry. You have a sister, don't you? A twin sister, perhaps? That's right. Dahlia Hawthorne, a woman I know only too well. I had no idea you knew her. Very impressive, Mr. Wright, but she's no longer. Yes, I know. Her sentence was carried out recently, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Thank you. There's no need to explain now, is there, Iris? The second you, who was at the temple of my murder, it was your twin sister, Dahlia Hawthorne. But just said, a, said it yourself a second ago. My sister's dead. Have you forgotten that? Have you forgotten this, Iris? This is a channeling dojo. I'm training ground of the Kyurin channeling technique. That night, someone channeled Dahlia, spirit, and you knew about it. And that's the secret you've been trying to hide from me. Someone channeled her. So Dahlia is dead. Someone channeled, channeled, channeled her and became her just like how Mia, um, Maya channeled Mia and so and, and Pearls did the same thing. I knew it was my sister. Dahlia, the, only, the other half of me who passed away last month, just as I expected. The iris. The, the sister bikini you saw at the inner temple on the night of the murder. It was Dahlia Hawthorne. Why did you tell me this before? Because, because my sister always does the right thing. Excuse me? <laughs> and because, yeah, I'm saying excuse me. She's in jail for a reason, you know. And because I, I, I mustn't get in the way of what she's trying to do. I already betrayed her once before. I can't do it again. You betrayed her? What do you mean? That's why I... I have to accept I may be found guilty. It's the only way. What is she talking about? You know about it, don't you, Mr. Wright? About the fake kidnapping that took place on the Eagle Mount on Eagle Mountain 11 years ago? That was the start of it all. It twisted her, her entire destiny. Starts to commit crime after crime, and in the end, she she lost her life. It's all because I betrayed her. How did you betray her, Iris? It was no coincidence that the Eagle Mo that Eagle Mountain is where the exchange was to take place. After all, I I helped plan the whole thing. What? But I got scared, so I ran away. What are you talking about? Why would you help her? Getting two million dollars from your own father? That's awful. But I promised. I promised that I'd help. And she didn't do it for the money. Huh? It was revenge on her father. R revenge? 
What do you mean by revenge? He was a hideous man. He threw our mother away and then straight sent her to hell. Her mother? Talking about Morgan Fay. Our mother was the eldest daughter of the main branch of the Fane family. The main family had a lot of influence in many business and political circles at the time. As the eldest daughter, our mother was sent to inherit all of that as the next master. That's the reason our father married our mother in the first place, for power. But his plan backfired. Because our mother's sister took it all away from her. She took over as master of Kirain. That must that would be Misty Fay, my mother mother. But before long, the credibility of the Kirain tradition hit rock bottom. The new master, Misty, Misty Fay, made a terrible mistake. It was during the investigation of the DL6 incident. After that happened, our father took me and my sister away, leaving our mother and our home behind. He hated the place. He said it was a hick dive and that he had no reason to stay there. And that's when he came here to Hazakura Temple. Yes, the woman my father took as his next wife. I already had a daughter, Valerie. I had no place in this new family, you see. Oh, I hadn't seen my mother once since then. Having the master's seat stolen from her and being rejected by her whole own family, I've heard she's been very battered spiritually and emotionally. I think I'm finally beginning to, pe to see how the pieces fit together. I've asked her everything I can in my capacity as a prosecutor. This incident, everything related to it, goes back to the history of the fake hand. That's what it looks like. Iris, there's just one more thing I want you to tell me. What is it? During the incident in which your sister, Dahlia Holfram, poisoned the lawyer, she began relations with a certain college student in order to hide the evidence. That college student? Have you heard anything about him? Well, I did hear one thing. She said she hated his guts. You see. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Hurry up, Phoenix Wright. There's still much to investigate. Leave these locks to me. I'll open them for you, I promise. Thank you. I suppose I'd better continue my investigation. There's still one giant secret left to unlock. Parasite lock. And we will do that in the next part, ladies and gentlemen. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later for some more things, right? Ace Attorney, Trials, and Tribulations. Peace!